Hey, what's up everyone? So I'm just going to be doing a quick little video on um, 5.1 and 7.1 audio files. And this is how I like rip the background like music from like the Saw movies and all that. And I'll also show you some unscored stuff as well, because why not? So first of all, what I've got here is a segment from Saw 5. I'm going to show you how to just like unscore it so you just have the dialogue only, no background music. And then I'm going to show you how I rip the background music from this scene. So first of all, when you drag and drop, um, it'll be in two channel. You can always do that, like change it from two channel to um, 5.1, like because this saw sort of five unrated rip is in 5.1 because I ripped it myself. So I just click 5.1 because it'll usually be stereo, which would be two channels. You can see there, right click and then change it to 5.1. Now, um, before I get into actually editing the video, make sure you have a 5.1 audio source. Not a two channel audio source because I know a lot of people come to me saying they download stuff from YouTube like scenes from the Saw movies and they um, say it's only a two channel because it's a two channel audio file because this one's a 5.1 six channel audio file. So you can only get these if you actually like rip the film in like 5.1 or 7.1 because I do have this in 7.1 and not a two channel audio file. So please keep that in mind. So yeah, this is my um, Saw 5 Unrated 5.1 MP4, which I ripped myself from the Saw 5 Unrated Blu-ray set. So that's why I have this here. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. So you just drag and drop into the file, it'll be 2 channel, and you just change it to 5.1, because this one's 5.1, not 7.1. Click on the um, actual audio file. So here's just the plain audio file by itself from the film, like not ripped or enhanced or whatever at all. I think I'm being followed. Well, that sounds more like police work, Miss Duck. I don't think they can help me. Alright, so that's just the regular scene. I'm going to just show you how to unscore it. So right click clip attributes, click on that, and here is your um, five channel audio like format. So even if I go to 7.1, these don't exist, only have the six channels from the 5.1 audio file. And it'll be the exact same if you have stereo. So if you have a two channel thing, and it'll only have channel one and two. If you try and convert a two channel to 5.1, it'll only have channel one and two, and the rest will be muted. So just to um, get rid of the background music and only have the dialogue, you can remove those. You can even remove this too. It doesn't really matter. It's just a low frequency effect. That's what LFE stands for. So this is just the audio. I think I'm being followed. See no music. Well, in the that background sounds more like police work, Miss Duck. I don't think they can help me. All right. So that's just how to unscore a thing. Pretty easy. Pretty simple. So if you want to do, um, just have the music. Yes, remove the center and leave one, two, five, and six. Yeah, it's just a background music, which is a really good track. Can't wait to release this. <laughs> Although the audio is a bit like low because you know the actual 5.1 audio thing has like the background music and like as an underscore to the actual main dialogue. So yeah, that's just a little thing from Saw 5, I just wanted to show you that. Alright, so I thought I might as well show you how um, I'd make the um, extra like hammered dulcimer effect, like the zep jingles, they so just like have like echoey jingles from the 5.1 7.1 audio file, so I'm just going to use the Saw 5 ending as a basic example, so you know, right click, clip attributes, remove that, remove that, we had just the basic standard background music, with you know, some dialogues, it's not perfect. That's just regular standard ZEP5 plus, you know, music. So just, it's so easy. Just embed channel one, make that channel five, and then you know channel two, channel six. So you got five, six, five, six. This is how the um, PAL format is. They have channel five and six, five and six, because this is how they do it in like the UK for some reason, or for some UK, you know, movies. So let's just hear the difference. actually like you hear the echo in the jingle and you hear the actual like a f like the actual cut right here see right there it's such an obvious cut so yeah it's not perfect at removing all the um like dialogue in the foreground like sound effects and all that but you know you do get some of it or like most of it in some circumstances See so yeah, the tape voice is like, you know, very um, 
like there, like in the foreground here, then it will like be removed in the next bit. Strong. Have you learned enough to trust me? Will you heed my warning? For if you do not, this room will forever be your tomb, and my legacy will become yours. Let's see all the other dialogues in like the background, it's like mostly removed. Except the tape dialogue. This is pretty common in the Saw movies because I think they have it like another um audio channel or something. But yeah, that's how I get my um 5.1, 7.1 Zep jingles. So, yep. I'll just show you a little bit of 7.1. 7.1 is the exact same as 5.1 except it's two more channels added. It's just literally like channel 7 and 7 and 8, so if you want to like unscrew just have the music only. Yeah. If you want to have like the really good, um, just the foreground music, you remove all the channels, only have channel 1 and 2. It's a lot more cleaner that way. In, in most areas, sometimes it's not, but sometimes, most of the time it is. That's how you just remove um, background music or you know remove your own vocals to have only background music in like most 5.1 7.1 circumstances. It depends on um, the quality of the audio as well because I know very old movies that have the old 5.1 audio codec is just like not really worth it because it's just it's just like not really good. But yeah, that's just how I um, get the background music from the Saw movies and how I underscore some stuff on other Saw stuff. So yep, thanks for watching, I hope this helps some of you because I know I get this question like nearly every day, like in comments and emails and that, so yeah, I hope this helped.